Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, if you're a new listener, uh, thanks for listening. I'm glad we f- you found us. If you're a veteran, thanks for coming back. And uh, today, uh, Hans is going to discuss about pet, like petting. <clears throat> is it a good motivator slash re- reward. reward? Is it good enough? Yeah. Uh, um. When we train the dog, there's many different concepts, right? All right, so the uh, so there's two different classifications. One is if the dog is working for you and with you, or if it's working for itself, right? Mm-hmm. The majority of people these days are training dogs so that they work for themselves, right? And it's done in drive, where the dog is uh, looking really pretty, perked mm-hmm. up yeah, and all okay. that. And they use treats and toys as a reward and motivator for the dog to perform. Mm-hmm. That's one way. The other way is the dog is working for you and with you, right? Did I say right? Yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah and, and, uh, yeah. For you and with you, and, uh, for you and with you, yep. and 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 there you cannot use uh, treats or toys, not as a foundation of the training. That's right? a big one right there. At, not as a foundation. Yeah, you can use it later. Yes, but not when you're starting. Okay. And even when I'm talking about obedience training in my videos, I I make that important point that you can use treats, but maybe later. And Hans always says, there's only one first impression. Right, and the first impression is the default, where we teach the dog. And the default, in my opinion, if you train dog for everyday life, not for competition, but for work like... uh, search and rescue protection, family behavior kind of thing, so the yeah. dog is okay in the house, um, is, is, is the, uh, so where the dog works for you, yeah, right, and with you, yeah, right? And, and there, you know, the reward and motivator got to be different. Yeah. The reward and motivator got to be coming from you, <clears throat> And without being anything in between you, yeah. right? Which is the old-fashioned good boy, pet, pet, right? So good boy is the voice first, and then pet, pet is the tactile, you know, as I call it, or touching, pre- petting the dog, right? Mm-hmm. And got to be given in that order. <clears throat> Because it's like a Pavlovian conditioning, right? It, in, in the United States, everything is kind of running, uh, evolving around Skinner, uh-huh. the f- four quadrants of the training, but people forgetting about Pavlov. I, most of my philosophy and dog training evolves around Pavlov, right? Yeah. Which is ring the bell, feed the dog, ring the bell, feed the dog, ring the bell, feed yeah. the dog, and dog becomes classically conditioned. Yeah. And so that when he reads, the, I mean, when he hears the bell, he starts salivating, mm-hmm. right? And uh, <clears throat> so that's a Pavlov, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and and so when yeah. I'm when I'm conditioning dog uh, with pet and praise, I say good boy, which is like ring the bell, uh-huh. and pet pet is like giving the dog food. So yeah. what will happen when we pet the dog? Again, we're going back, as I mentioned several times, to oxytocin. Oxytocin is a bonding hormone. People will say, no, that's not strong enough, some pet pet. You ever seen dog which is petaholic, won't leave you alone, keep nudging your hand yeah. so that you pet him? Yeah. It's one of the strongest things. The dog is basically addicted to the oxytocin and subsequent endorphin yeah. uh, to the point that they do anything for it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so you, 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 you know, you, you, uh, conditioning the dog when you say good boy, mm-hmm. pet, pet in that order, right? Same way you say Very no. Very important. Yeah. Same yeah. way is negative. You say no. 
and correction on the dog in that order. Yeah. Because we're going by Pavlov, and, and Pavlov first is a sound stimulus, the ring, the bell, mm -hmm. or you saying good boy or no in negative. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so, um, so when you condition the dog, then when you say good boy, the endorphins and oxytocin get secreted in the dog's brain and he likes it. Yeah. It's just like he likes your cookie if you use food. Yeah. Except now you need to have that cookie. Yeah. Where when I say good boy and pet pet, I don't need no cookie. Yeah, it's your hand. It's your voice. It's yeah, I always have the uh, always have the um, the hands, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and it goes the, for the correction too, the no, right? Right. Same, same, same thing correction. Say no same. And, and and correct the dog on a leash or grab it by the muzzle or whatever. And Hans Hans tells us in training your correction <coughs> is not hard enough, and there's a the reason he says that because once the dog is off leash, right? Right. Right. So 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 yeah. the dog is off leash, either for correction and does something wrong yeah. or good. What good then yeah. then let's say we're talking about good now right, right. about praising right okay. so yeah. so let's focus on good you say good boy and people say well i need a stimulus on e-collar because the dog is far away i cannot really reward it or correct it yeah. so i need a click click uh, collar or whatever yeah. electric yeah. stimulus collar or uh, i like to as i like to call it Electric shock car. Oh, we don't give a shot. Okay, whatever you call it. <laughs> it's electricity. Right? Uh, hey, again, uh, if you yeah. want to use electric uh, e collars, uh, knock yourself out, right? I don't care. Yeah. You know, you yeah. do whatever you want. I, I like to have that uh, because you can deliver so positive uh, with electric collar, same as negative. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but, uh, Again, you have something between you and the dog, which yeah. is the collar, right? Filter, yeah. You know, well, people people say, well, if I'm correcting dog with leash and choker, I have between me and the dog leash and choker. But dog see my hand correcting the dog, it's right? From, it's from you. From you. It's yeah. coming, you know it's coming from you. When he gets zapped on the collar, doesn't, he, he doesn't necessarily understand. Not, yeah. And there's ways to do it. Like you do correction on a choker or pinch collar, at the same time you s stimulate the dog with electric collar, but you know uh, it's just getting too complicated now, right? Yeah, you're turning dog into cyborg. <laughs> yeah. And uh, anyway, okay, I don't want to criticize e collar. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm sure I would. Piss, you had an episode on e collar, so yeah, I would to piss that. off yeah. a lot of people about that. But, but, you know, I want to talk about the, the, the strengths of the positive, positive. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, reward. Yeah. Is it, is which it, is feels it good enough? to the dog. Huh? Yeah. Is it, it if enough? If it's enough. Yeah. And, uh, anybody listening there? <clears throat> so when I say, <clears throat> when I say, uh, good boy, first you gotta say good boy. I don't care what language you use. Hodni in Czech, you know, yeah. so is Braf in German. Uh -huh. I don't know how it would be Hungar Hungarian. Oh, you? Huh? Yo, yo, for you, but yo, yo, kish line. Yo, yo means good, and then you say yo. boy. Go. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo, yo. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Yeah. Yo, Very yo. racist one. Yeah. I mean, what is there a bigger love for the dog? You know, to the dog, then then they feel your touch. It's a positive touch. Right, and and they're you know? back oriented animals, right? Yeah. So they're they're designed. Uh, 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 to be in a relationship with you, so so build on it, okay? Yeah. If the dog works for itself, the dog is not a coyote, right? Coyote is different species than, yeah. uh, than dog or wolf, right? They're not in pack. Yeah. So they're not pack animals. Yeah. So so we you know tap into that pack order, right? Yeah. And so if I say good boy, the dog wants me to be happy with him and then I pet pet and then when and, and I, that secretes oxytocin which is bonding hormone and makes it feels good because yeah. there's endorphin yeah. hap, uh, secreted uh, yeah. subsequently and uh, and then if the dog is away from us yeah. right we can say good boy and he automatically secretes the 
uh, endorphins and yeah. the oxytocin, same way as the dog in Pavlov, when you ring the bell, secretes the saliva. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. It's right. Not a rocket science. So, yeah. so, so it's very. St- and, and how strong is it? People doubt that it's strong, and as I already mentioned, it is very strong. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you ever seen a petoholic dog. Yeah. Who, who who will drive you up the tree uh, because he wants you to pet him and you pet him and uh, and 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 uh, and then he comes back and he sees how oh, here's a sucker who's gonna pet me <laughs> you go right and he keeps nudging you nudging you and finally you lose your temper and yell at the dog get the hell out of here my, my people right? she, she and you can see the dog will go away from you a little bit yeah right yeah and you can see how he suffers. Yeah, he has his withdrawal endorphin. I didn't get it. Oxytocin yeah. withdrawal, like the like the junkie, yeah. who, crack junkie who doesn't yeah. get crack, yeah. right? Yeah. And but except this 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 particular a, is natural, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and he comes and then and you know like 15, 20, 30 seconds he kind of nonchalantly comes <laughs> back, you know, like nothing happened and, and what? It's so powerful. Yeah. Tap into it when you train yeah. the dog. Get yeah. him to be an uh, endorphin junkie. Yeah, that's a good okay? thing. Yeah. You are a drug dealer and he's a, he's a, he's a user of endorphin. Yeah. And, you, and he'll do anything for you. Just about, like the drug de- uh, junkie yeah. Yeah. will do anything for you. You talked about the cum command mm-hmm. and the cum, how to teach cum command. We, we did a podcast on that. Right. And that's similar concept. Right. We say cum, 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 and dog sits. If you're watching TV, you yeah. know, Magnum PI on yeah. TV. and yeah. uh, Or sumo. And, or sumo, yeah. Hey, sumo came up again. Oh, came back. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so happy. <laughs> you guys are probably watching this right now. Like, when are they talking about sumo? Well, a little fact about Hans. That's he why lo- I spend my time he watching sumo. He loves to sumo. watch sumo. <laughs> Um, anyway, but so you sit on the couch yeah. and you say "kemnye," which means "come and check" or "come." Yeah. And pet, pet, come, pet, pet, come, pet, pet, come. And after a while, you know, you can say "come" and the come right back to you, right? Because yeah, uh, he wants the endorphin. You know, he gets the endorphin anyway because yeah. he'll come. But it's also get even stronger when you pet him. Even right? even the ones that are not quote unquote. Petaholics, it's it's a, it's it'll work for all. Right? Yeah, it's I'm just, just using so the petaholic. We don't need to turn the dog into a petaholic. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying yeah. that if the dog becomes petaholic, you see how powerful. As an example, how powerful yeah. that 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 the can touch. be. The touch. We don't want the dog to be like total petaholic. Yeah. That he want to be. <laughs> They're gonna know. call you like. <laughs> and and you know they become petaholics because, uh, uh, you know you do it too much. You yeah. know and and and. Are, and are, and and really, you don't bond it. You got bond the, yeah, the uh, or bind the, uh, the 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 petting with uh, something verbal. Yeah, or female. If you're just petting dog for nothing, they think they will get it for nothing. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And and then they will demand it for nothing. Are females a little bit more pedaholic? No, no, not necessarily. No, or, not in my have experience. You seen, okay, not in your okay. Maybe you're a female. Maybe. I, I'm just saying. Yeah, it, it's we only. But it's. it's it, I don't female. think it has anything okay. to do with the with, sex. Okay. Okay. Or as uh, I don't think it has anything to do with sex or as Americans say gender. Gender. Don't you know? get him. Don't get Hans going. <laughs> well, yeah. It's no, a I know. Deal, I know. Man. No, it is. I know. I know. I know it is. But. You know. You know, like the conservatives, they yeah. say we have only. Two genders. Yeah. It's not true. We have three so, genders. Yeah, yeah. We have femininum, masculinum, and neutrum. Neutrum. Yeah. The three. There you go. Where we have two sexes, male yeah. and female. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Now, there's some discussion about other things, yeah. but I don't want to get into yeah. it, but but that's how it used to be. <laughs> For about... <laughs> when I was a little child. How, how many thousands of... <laughs> you? <laughs> but, but, you know, we yeah. have three genders and two sexes. Yeah. I mean, you know, biologically. Yes. Gender is a grammar term from gram- grammar, yeah. where sex is biological. Mm-hmm. You know. So you learned something new today, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, I mean, that you had over, what, almost 100 dogs? Your dogs? <laughs> hmm? You had over 100 dogs or 60? Personally? Personal dogs. The highest I had, like, 56 or 54. Yeah. So, myself yeah that's you had like 150 or yeah. something so i mean that's 
Yeah, and then all the other dogs that you train. <laughs> oh, I over trained a thousand. hundreds, thousands, not yeah. hundred thousands, but With thousands, way over thousand or yeah. several thousands Whatever. of dogs. So, you know. Yeah. Um, so you, you, but you know, I don't know anything about dog training. They told no. me. Well, but as a cult leader, you're supposed to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. As a yeah. as a cult he's, leader, he's, yeah. they called Hans a cult leader. Somebody on Facebook, he just he cracked up. Yeah, that's he said he calls me. He's like, I've been. Calling. I, I'm trying to erase it from my mind. That somebody, <laughs> I <says> remind him. <laughs> so stupid stuff like that. It just cracks me up. It's funny, but uh, I don't know anything. Cult followers, a cult, cult follower. leader. Um, but anything else, Hans? You. Thinking. About this, uh, I don't know. I don't yeah. think I'm so. sure after Hans Hans watches the episode back. And yeah, like, watch oh, it at shoot. home after he re- after yeah, he yeah. edits it, and, and I say, "Oh God, I forgot <laughs> to say this." Because uh, it's not scripted, so yeah, I'm pulling it out. I, I'm, no. I'm, I'm 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 just pulling it out of my mind or yeah, winging well. it. Or. <laughs> if you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. As we say in Czechoslovakia, I'm pulling it out of my heel. Yeah, what, what he means by winging it is, you know, 50 years of, of, of file cabinets. Well, what I mean, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, yeah. pre- I'm not have anything prepared. Yeah, you know, yeah which you, is better. I'm, I'm having paper here, but it's just the topics. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. I don't, um, I'm just, I'm, I, I have stuff in my head too. Sometimes I ask Hans as, as these episodes go, but... Uh, I mean, it's a it's a constant topic in Hans's class all the time. Um, I've been training with Hans for almost two years, and it's just you know it's pretty much every 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 Saturday. It's that topic is there. I mean, you know what's funny when I started doing these podcasts? Yeah, I was kind of a little thinking like, um, what am I going to be talking about? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm going to run out of topics really quick. But you a know, third one. Five, six, ten sessions, and we're oh, yeah. how many we have written? Uh, we have a few. If you count the shorts, it's like eighty now, right? Yeah, we have a, quite a few. Oh, and we have eighty because there's always something, some issue that comes up, or somebody has a question. Yeah, it's uh, fun, man. I enjoy it. And um, he, Hans talked about the 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 collar, uh, not the collar, the choke choke collar. How cheap they're making them now, and uh, yeah, that was a good that was short a good topic. That was yeah. a short one, like a know. thousand plus people watched that short. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. That yeah. was one of the most popular. It was like short. a minute under a minute. You know, Paco was most popular. Paco, yeah, the little little Paco great. doing protection, kicking ass, this little miniature chihuahua. I know. Uh, <laughs> it, yeah, he's an incredible dog. We should do one on a short about the muzzle too. We should do a podcast on muzzle. That would be a good one. It's more visual though. Um, I can put some pictures up of the ones that you know the yeah. the wire the wire. Or we should just we could have them right here. Yeah, the wire muzzle. A few different. Kind it's of amazing. Muzzle. It's such a simple concept, and and I just didn't think about it in the beginning. But I don't want to jump ahead. But there's some things on there that you can share that people will be like, oh yeah, okay, I understand now which muzzle, why 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 this is not good muzzle. I understand why. Yeah. So yeah, we can, can talk about muzzle. That's a good one. Yeah. We need to have samples. So yeah, either pictures. Well, or, I can put, the, I can superimpose pictures basically okay. as we're talking. So we to, talk about you know yeah you can fabric say, and, yeah yeah, yeah. All right. say that too, wire and leather yeah those are good good uh, topics to to have so uh, agitation muscle mm-hmm. or yeah. restraining muscles mm-hmm. yeah it's a good one um, all right well thank you Hans this was a good this was an important one I really think this is yeah such this a big, is really important because people. More, yeah, you know what? What it it, it 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 used to be. People say, "Well, dog does it because he loves me, and and all I can give him is praise and pet." It, 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 what happened to it? Yeah, it's just it's gone. Like people don't whistle anymore either. Yeah, that's true. My dad used to. He had a, every yeah. family had their own whistle. You knew that was your dad or mom's or whatever your 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 family's yeah, whistle. And people don't whistle anymore. I mean, I was little, now they have cell phones. I guess that's killed it. I mean, when I was a little kid and I was oh, yeah, playing you, in the woods, you, you my knew. mom would or my father would whistle, and they had this kind of yeah. You knew, yeah. I, I knew my father is calling me, you know, and it would do 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 yeah. do 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 you yeah. know, whistling. Yeah, yeah, it carried mile or more. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's yeah, that's that's simple. Just now they have a cell phone and scratch a cell phone. Scratch. He calls it scratch sc- scratchy phones. That's what you call it, scratchy. Well, food? it's like scratch. Our chicken scratches for worms <laughs> in, a, in a chicken shit. 
Oh, poor Hans. He's got digital. So he's got am a, I going to end up the, 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 this he, podcast on word shit? Hans. That sounds pretty good to me. Living in an, uh, <laughs> Hans is an analog guy living in a digital world. Yeah. <laughs> he's trying. Sure. You're, you're doing good. You're yeah, doing how good. do they say it? I, I'm a, I'm a roadkill on internet superhighway? I, I never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right so, guys all right well thank you uh thank you for listening uh please subscribe share um all those all those good things and and and, and buy some videos buy some videos uh, you remember you know what you know where congress is congress uh, yeah yeah I mean, by wickenberg oh, oh congress yeah here in arizona yeah, yeah. the yeah. congress the town of congress yeah. so kind of ghost town used to be yeah and there was this guy man and he had a little Antique store. He would go desert and found things, barbed, unusual barbed wire, uh-huh. uh, rusty gun, uh-huh. uh, geode, uh-huh. whatever. And he had, uh, tried to sell it there, right? Uh-huh. And people would come there and look and look and wouldn't buy anything. Yeah. So when you walk out of the, out of his little store, yeah, on the door there was a sign which was precious. It says. Buy something. This is not a fucking museum. <laughs> <That's what it's... laughs> so buy something. Buy something. Yeah. All right, guys. No, it's uh, those videos, uh, the personal protection videos, step by step, four part video series is awesome. Um, there's nothing like it out there because everything is so upside down right now with the way they teach dogs with with personal protection. Uh, the nonsense obedience uh, yeah, dog training. That's an old one. Man. That's an old one, old one, but it's an evergreen. I made it when I was still skinny. I know, but it's an evergreen <laughs> evergreen knowledge. It's that's not, right. You like know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, people say you're obsolete. and yeah. No, yeah, no, no. It's just if something worked for 2,000 years, it's yeah. probably still going to work. Yeah. Even yeah, now. Yeah. That video could be sold right now. <laughs> what was 2,000 years ago? Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. If you have a puppy and you want to uh, feed it raw, uh, Hans has a video on that too. It's a really good one. Um, the Art of War, uh, Hans says people yeah, don't understand. Yeah, that's your least appreciated video yeah. is the canine Art of War. Yeah, it's basically you're helping your dog. I thought it was one of the yeah. greatest videos yeah. I ever made. And yeah. 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 If you have a personal protection dog. Maybe, maybe the problem is people don't understand what that is all about. Yeah, you know? yeah maybe we do a little trailer in front of it yeah. and they can't understand. So. Yeah, yeah, trailer. Yeah, That'd that's be what good. We'll, we'll do. So, uh, But you, you guys have questions. Uh, we put the phone number up at the end of the video so you can even call Hans if you have any questions about that. Um, I'll talk to you. Yeah, he'll, he'll talk to you. and um, yeah. It's, uh, Soon enough, we're going to start charging for it. Yeah, so, so, so enjoy, so. enjoy this last <laughs> few calls. <laughs> All right. No. All right, guys. Did. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Sayonara. <laughs>